For these marchers, Rosa Luxemburg and Karl Liebknecht are real heroes. Thousands turned out to mark the 100th anniversary of the deaths of the communist leaders, trudging 15 kilometres in the rain to the couple's memorial. Rosa Luxemburg and Karl Liebknecht were murdered 100 years ago. Their struggle still counts. We can see that in the rise of militarism, the problems that we have with racism in Germany, the swing to the far right. Those are all reasons why we're here. No doubt, Karl and Rosa are the big idols. They believe they have to continue the struggle the socialists and communists started more than 100 years ago. That's when the tradition began. More than 100,000 followers flanked the coffins of the two revolutionary leaders. Luxembourg and Liebknecht were captured and shot by right-wing paramilitaries, encouraged by the leader of the Social Democrats. Their deaths still divide left-wing politics in Germany. Australian Tekla Sitargev is studying physics in Berlin. He's active in left-wing student politics and an ardent admirer of Rosa Luxemburg. Rosa Luxemburg, she was an important figure because she was a revolutionary. She was also a, a very strong feminist and one of the first women to, to find her voice and make, make a powerful stand in a time where even revolutionary discussion was dominated by men. The marchers make their way to Berlin's Central Cemetery. It's a place of pilgrimage for the left in what was once communist East Berlin. Wreaths and carnations are laid. Tekla finds it encouraging that these historical figures remain so significant. For us, they represent our, our fight to, to improve conditions for all workers around the world. And, and the society that we live in, we still face the same conditions. Workers, students, uh, families are still exploited in the same way. We have to worry about our rent having our job or, or becoming homeless and this has impacts all over the world. Across the way stands another memorial, this one to the victims of communism. It's often ignored, but for this visitor it's important to lay flowers here. I think there's always a risk of the two of them being romanticized. It's important to remember the other side of the story. That's if we want the whole truth to be told. It's debatable whether Karl Liebknecht and Rosa Luxemburg were responsible for crimes committed later in the name of communism. But there's no doubt that the 100th anniversary of their deaths is being used for political purposes.